So we want to take a look at this. Isn't this just stunning? This is the smoke and the haze in the air that painted the moon red tonight. So looking at a red moon, that tells you how much wow. haze and smoke's out there. It just socked oh. in. So, so Craig, we saw a lot of wind over the past couple of days, and normally we associate wind with rain, but this is, this is strange. What caused all that wind? Yeah, exactly. We had two systems that were very close to each other, high pressure to the north and a low pressure that was right over Idaho. And the flow around the two was making a figure eight, if you will, giving us those easterly winds our direction. That system that was over Idaho has now moved into the Rockies, which is why we're starting to see the winds relax a little bit, but that high pressure still there giving us those offshore winds. We have those in the store, uh, in the forecast for tomorrow, but then things change as we go into the next week. Let's get you going with the temperatures tomorrow and Thursday will be the two warmest days. Uh, and then after that, we'll start to cool down and gradually, we've got 69 in Renton, 66 in Tacoma, Olympia at 65. Here are the winds right now, still coming off uh, out of the east. And as you know, as they come down the uh, Olympics and the Cascades, they compress, they heat up, they push the marine layer well away from here. We aren't going to see that at least until Friday. As you look at this bit, uh, image, you can make out the line of the state of Washington, the outline. And then the red that you see is the smoke. And the smoke in this specific direction will be going from east to west out toward the coast. So air quality, not good. The red considered uh, unhealthy air quality, the orange unhealthful for sensitive groups, uh, and then the yellow considered moderate. But as you know, you just step outside for a bit, take the dog out for a walk or even just around the block and it's pretty, pretty rough, but you can really inhale that. So if we can avoid those walks tomorrow and the day after, probably a good idea. Humidity has come back a little bit this evening. However, tomorrow, it will drop again during the daylight hours to 10 to 20 percent. We continue with the red flag warnings through Thursday at 11 p.m. And some of those gusts closer to the foothills could reach uh, closer to 45 miles per hour. There's the system on the right side of your screen that's moved over into the Rockies. That was parked over Idaho yesterday, and they were very close. That and that high pressure were very close and giving us those strong winds. Uh, tomorrow, we've got some upper 70s and some upper 80s in the forecast. And then the sea breeze returns as we go into Friday and into next week. Here's Futurecast again. Notice the winds will relax a little bit tomorrow afternoon, more so on Thursday, but they will still be a little bit gusty. So just don't let the guard down just yet. You know, it's still gonna be one of those uh, couple of days where we've got those offshore winds. 50s and 60s for overnight lows. Here's your seven day forecast. 87 tomorrow, 88 on Thursday. With the marine layer or the uh, sea breeze back in place Friday, we'll drop to 82. We'll wake up Saturday and Sunday to morning clouds, get some afternoon sunshine, but the humidity will go up as the temperatures go down. And yes, the good news is right now I do have the chance for rain in the forecast for Monday evening into Tuesday morning. Be safe out there. Let's send it over to Chris Egan with a look at sports.